Hey guys, it's Megan here with GoingGear.com and today's video is going to be the Nikkor MT26. We're actually going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're not going to be going into the full specs of this light, right? Uh, in-depth review on this so I'm going to link over you can see the link there at the top and in the description of this video to the full review of that what we're doing today is we're going to show you some different mounts different ways to mount this on a weapon then we're actually going to head outside and do some target shooting uh, with this light mounted on a 22 rifle so a couple of uh, quick specs on this light just as a refresher it has a max output of 800 lumens. It takes two CR123 batteries or one 18650. You're going to get a max runtime of about 45 hours on it. Uh, it does have the tail cap here, and then it has the Cree XML U2 LED light. It's got a really great reflector on it, which is going to give you a smooth and powerful beam. You're going to get a lot of use out of that 800 max lumen output on it. Um, it is does have the military grade hard anodizing finish on it so it's going to be really durable and hold up uh, while it's mounted on any kind of weapon. So those are sort of the, the quick general rundown. I'm going to show you a couple different mounts now and uh, then we'll take it outside and test it out um, while it's mounted on a rifle. I have my Smith & Wesson MMP15 rifle. It's a 22 caliber rifle. It does have the rail mounts here so Mine has a scope on it, you can kind of see the end of it here, so whenever I mount this flashlight, I do it as a bottom rail mount down here, but I just wanted to show you that you could, you know, if you don't have a scope on your rifle or other kind of gun, that you can mount it at the top, you can just slide it in, that's what it would look like, and then the same with the bottom, you would just attach it somewhere in the bottom rails and go. Um, you can see it'll just fit just like that on the bottom. Obviously you have your tail cap on it. Um, so those are your two different sort of mounting options. If you wanted to, you could mount it on either side. It just really depends on what kind of mount system that you have and the different rail, rail options that you have on your gun. So now we're going to head outside. With our Nikkor MT26, we're going to mount this up on this rifle and we're going to do some target shooting uh, so you can be able to see the distance and throw in this light and show you the durability that it's going to hold up while it's mounted in your shooting. So we are outside with the Nikkor MT26. I've got my friend Clark here who's going to demonstrate this light out. Um, we've got targets at 10 yards, 20 yards, and then we've got a bank which is about 30 yards out so you'll be able to demonstrate and be able to see how the light works. 